Good morning. Myself Ashish Desai, Assistant Professor, Mechanical Department. Today I am presenting a mechatronic system design. In that content, the stages in the designing of mechatronic system. Second is a traditional and mechatronic design approach. Third is a possible solution through mechatronic system. Fourth one is a mechatronic approach for engine management system, coin counter, and loading and unloading mechanism. So first of all, we discuss the stages in order in the mechatronic system. So in stage first, need for design. Second stage is the analysis of problem. Third stage is the preparation of a specification. Four stages the conceptualization. Fifth stage is the detailed design. Sixth stage is the production of working drawing. So in first stage is need for design. So the need comes from the various operating uh, industries or can say services. So it is from the customer also. So the design starts from actually need. So the need may be in the form of reduced cost, the performance, or you can say that the modification of existing product, or you can say that the reliability of the component. So improve the reliability components is necessary. So that's why the need is come from the picture. So now next stage is this analysis of problem. Probably the most critical stage is the analysis of problem because if the if the problem statement is not clearly defined, so it leads to the wastage of time. So whenever the the problem is clearly mentioned, that time we go for greater greater impact to the product. So then it is simplifying the problem. So this is the important stage for the for the for the design. Then next stage is the preparation of specifications. So we know that the design requires specifications. Therefore the specifications includes all the different functions so first of all we discuss the mass of design mass or can say dimension of design then we go for product accuracy then operating environment then accuracy with interface then type and range so these are the preparation of specifications so according to that we can prepare it and then it it starts for conceptualizations so this is enter into the next stage that is conceptualizations or you can say that generate a new possible solutions we can say alternative solutions so for that purpose we focus on the mechanisms materials and different process configurations so that should be results to satisfy the needs and then we go for the detailed design so in that detailed design we have to go for the evaluation stage that is nothing but we have to prepare a product type and according to that the analyze the all the data which is comes from the specifications or you can say design and then it it applied to the testing of prototype so it should be analytical model or you can say experimental model so this will be helpful for completion of detailed design so now the stage 7 that is production of working drawing so the finalized drawing of the components we find we finalize and then it is communicated to the manufacturer so it includes the each component drawing as well as the assembly details so it should be shared to the all the manufacturers so it should be simplified the product so that is the stages involved in the mechatronics system so now we move for the traditional versus mechatronics design so in traditional approach we know that the it is depending on mechanical hydraulic and pneumatic systems so this is the traditional system but nowadays the it should be all involved the mechanical electronics and computer technology with control engineering so this is the beneficiary of the product then in traditional design we know that it should be less flexible than compared to the mechatronics design so if it is go for designing it should be more complicated in traditional design as compared with mechatronics design so in mechatronics system there are few requirements for the components and moving parts so it should be helpful for less in weight so this is the advantages over the traditional systems so we know that we have one example for that the weighing scale the weighing scale is example we can you know that the weighing scale is used for measuring the weight so so how it works actually when the weight is 
put up into this platform the compression of the spring takes place and after that it should be convert to the motion of spring into rotation of the shaft and then it goes to the pointer will be deflected so this is the methodology for mechanical or you can say traditional design systems nowadays what will happen the spring is replaced by load cell with strain gauge so here the directly get the output in the digital format so this helps to accuracy and other terminologies so this is the one example over the traditional systems so it is helpful for the unskilled person also because weighing scale is required some standard skill for measuring the component so that's why um, it is easier method for measuring the weight so this is the helpful for the conditions now we move for possible solutions uh, we know that windscreen wiper motor so it is helpful for to clean the front glasses of the cars so this is the mechanical approach so here the four bar mechanism is seen to in the figure so the it consists in with crank connecting rod so you know that this is the crank crank is here connecting rod and wiper arm is there so this is the arms when oscillates back and forth so that's why it should be clean the front classes so here connecting rod is there which is connected to the crank as well as wiper arm so rotation of the crank rotation of the crank causes the connect rotation of the crank causes the connecting rod to oscillate the wiper arm and this is the approach of mechanical system but nowadays the mechatronics approach is here the stepper motor we can add over here and which is attached with micro or microcontroller so it is possible to uh, in a full configuration or half configurations full configuration means what it whenever it the it in terms of steps so when rotate in one direction similarly it can rotate or can say reverse in a same directions same steps in a directions so this is called as full direction full step configuration in half step configuration whenever it should be rotated up to some steps again it back to the same steps so this is the half step rotation or can say configurations so this is the mechatronics approach for the possible solutions of windscreen wiper motor the next example is time to switch so it is device the cam is used cam is used for on and off actuator or can say other system for specific period of times so the cam is placed over here so according to the shape so it should be actuated whenever the pivot is there so pivoted flexible arm is there so this is called as a follower and this is the cam so cam follower it is follow in the mechanical operating switches so this connect will be disconnect when this pivoted arm is contact with this arm so here cam is rotating member and it is rotated at a constant rate and pivoted flexible for the such cam follower moment so amount of time it is depends on the shape of the cam so whenever the shape of cam is provided so that time this will be timing of the motor or can say actuator for some period of time so this is the approach for mechatronics this is approach of now approach of mechatronics approach the plc system we can use here so only changes in the preset value so here the time changing effect is depending on the cam but in case of pl system it is only we can set the preset time so it does not require number of timers but in case of the mechanical switches the whenever the change in the time we required number of cams or you can say different shapes of cams so this is the one alternative solution using plc second is a triple point timer if it is uh, in a mechatronics approach we can use triple point timer so your if your operations is in uh, time 
constraint. So we can set the program into the default file timer accordingly to be works. Similarly, we can use microcontrollers for over the mechanical switch. So the data will be getting from regular intervals. So this is the way for overcome over the macaroni system. Now we move for the engine manager scheme with sensor and actuators. So it is the figure is shown that the different sensors involved with the systems. So this is the engine and here the sensors will be throttle position sensor, temperature sensor, speed sensor, mass flow air sensor and it is connected to the electronics unit and whole system will be monitored. So this will help for engine runs at optimum speed. Second, managing the ignition fueling requirement of the engine. Then third one is the power and speed of the engine. So these are the benefit for the while uh, we can go for engine management systems. So here number of sensors are employed. Uh, so here we discuss some of the sensors. So first of all, we know that engine speed sensor. So it is the inductive type sensor. So it to measure the sense or you can say engine speed. So when the this tooth does, sorry. So here the tooth the wheel is there. So it is contact with speed sensor. So at that time, whenever the the tooth will be contacts. So the inductance will change and produces the oscillating voltage. So that will helps to control the engine speed. So next is a engine temperature sensor. So it is either the sensor is in thermistor can thermocouple. So whenever the sense the temperature, so if it is range in the maximum, so the fuel and air mixtures should be varied in the engine. So if it is more temperature, then it should be varied the area of air fuel ratio. Next sensor is hot wire anemometer. So hot wire anemometer is placed is placed for measuring the air mass flow rate which will help for keeping the ratio of air and fuel. So the principle is like that. The heated wire is placed in air flow and when it, uh, according to the air, it should be maximized. Then the wire will go cooling. So this principle help for the measuring the mass flow rate. Then third sensor is oxygen sensor. So it identify the how much unburned oxygen is present in the exhaust. So with the help of that, we can add the fuel mixtures for the burning purpose. So this is the placed in a cat uh, catalytic place there or you can say exist exhaust manifold. Then next is the fuel pressure sensor. So fuel sensor sensor, it tells about the reach or lean mixture because whenever you track the fuel pressure within the fuel drill, fuel drill, correct amount of fuel that engine needs. So if the less fuel is present, then it fits on power or you can say efficiency of the fuel. So that's why the fuel pressure also important over here. So next sensor is oil pressure sensor. So it helps to lubrication purpose. So whenever lubrication is properly maintained, so then and then only it should be working with proper manner. Otherwise it should be giving the more friction to the systems. The next sensor is knock sensor. So it monitor it monitors the ignition process. Uh, because sometimes the pre-emissions or you can say detonation occurs so that helps to monitor the engine so this knock sensor it can impact it on ignition process so this is related with engine management system so if it is all the sensor given data to the electronic unit and according to this data the it can varies the air fuel ratio or so that's why the engine will be runs at optimum speed optimum range so this is regarding the advantages of macaronic system. So this whole system is nowadays in a macaronic systems. Now we move for next uh, mechatronic approach for coin counter. So main objective of the coin counter is to find out the value of coin as well as uh, know the know the number of coins present here. So this is the funnel and this is a hollow pipe. So this is a disc. So this is this motor and this angular preceptor is there. So here 
we have divided the two approaches one is a mechanical and second is a electronics so the objective is to value coin through the sensor and output will be in a digital way so for that purpose uh, we divide the two section that is mechanical design as well as electronics design so in mechanical design we can align the sectional alignment of coins so that the array of sensors sensed and it given the given feedback to the uh, system which is involved in a mechatronics way and in electronic design the design for display to the count and value of coins so whenever the dc motor rotates the disk and this disk will be perforated manner and so that's why according to the speed and weight it should be dropped into the channel and the, here the channel is aligned with array of sensors so according to the the array of sir, uh, this sensor the sequential circuit would be triggered in our TTL signals and that to be identify the coins correctly so this is the benefit of coin counter so here we integrate the mechanical design as well as electronic design so this is help to measure the value as well as number of coins present in this in this panel now we move for loading and unloading mechanisms so we, we know that uh, nowadays the whenever the hazardous condition of the system is there the robot we can use the robot system so this is the machine where the robot is placing a object into the into the heating zone so here we required the loading and unloading mechanisms so here the human worker uh, place the component in a nest so there here the nest is there so the robot sends over the nest and then it picks period of time and then picking after it will be placed in a induction heating coil and it, it is retry after some time that is after we can say that after 10 seconds it should be removed and then it is placed to the outgoing conveyor so this is helps to to preventing the accidents so here we require two ir sensors first sensor is used for uh, object is present or not if it is project uh, if it is the object is present then robot will be sensed and then it is placed in a induction coil so this this is the helps to helps to this robot and then loading and loading mechanism takes place so here we constructing the ladder diagram also with the help of ladder we can perform this all the systems with the proper way so in that content we require sensors different actuators as well as the timer so it helps to integrate integrate the mechanical and electronics way and then uh, it helps to prevent the accidents so this is regarding the mechanical system design thank you